Countdown timers are pretty useful for live streams. People use them to build up hype, countdown to certain events, and more. People typically tend to create these counters just by capturing websites, which can look a little bit unprofessional. So today, I'll be showing you how to make your very own clean looking countdown timers for OBS. Stay tuned, I'm Aaron. This method for creating timers uses a tool called Snaz, which is free to download, link in the description. Snaz will help us out by updating a text file every single second with the amount of time remaining. So if you haven't already, install Snaz and open it up. Now there's a lot to look at when you open this program, but all we'll need to focus on for this video is the lower third of the screen labeled countdown to a specific time. Here you can customize how the time will appear in OBS under the output format box. I believe that it's initially set to show the number of days, hours, minutes, and seconds remaining, but you can change this to any format that you'd like. All you need to do to signify seconds, minutes, hours, or days is use a dollar sign followed by an S, M, H, or D accordingly. In my case specifically, I've set it to only show minutes and seconds, so I wrote this in the box. Next, go to the box labeled message when done and change that to whatever you'd like. As the label implies, whatever text you put here is what will appear in OBS after the timer finishes, so be careful what you pick. I have mine set to 00, 00, which as you can probably guess is to just make it look like the timer freezes when it gets to the end. If you're going the same route as me, just make sure that you have the appropriate amount of zeros for the amount of times that you have. So if you have days, hours, minutes, and seconds, make sure to have four sets of two zeros. Lastly, it is time to pick the time that you are counting down to. So first, go to the box labeled count down to, and then click the symbol on the right to set it to your computer's current time. From there, you can add any amount of time that you'd like, and that's really it. Now we're done with everything that we need to do in Snaz, just make sure to copy the files path by clicking the copy path to keyboard button. Now we can finally open OBS. In the scene that you'd like to create the countdown timer, create a text source. Now you're free to configure the font however you'd like, I just recommend that you make it pretty large and easy to read. Then just click the read from file box and paste in the file path that you should have saved to your clipboard earlier. And finally, you can start the timer in Snaz and it should be updating in OBS every single second. From here, assuming that you're somewhat proficient with OBS, creative liberties are completely up to you. That's pretty much it for this video guys though, so if this video was helpful to you in any way, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and hit the bell to be notified for new uploads. Also, we're at Top Spec Media on Twitch, so if you want to keep up to date with any of our live events, make sure to follow us over there.